Whilst much of the focus of the people in the autonomous region of Bougainville has been on the upcoming referendum vote, work has also commenced for an important obligation, national reconciliation. This important event, a crucial part of the healing process for all sides who were affected by the decade-long Bougainville conflict. When speaking to National MTV News recently, National Bougainville Affairs Minister Se Pukatemu touched on the issue of a planned national reconciliation. This, he said, would be the focus of both the national government and autonomous Bougainville government once the polling and counting stages of the referendum were completed. Uh, reconciliation program, we have allowed uh, the domestic, the Bougainville uh, reconciliation programs to continue. That was the advice that we had from the president and the vice president for the Bougainville uh, based uh, reconciliation programs to be concluded before the so-called national reconciliation. Sepuka also confirming that preparations had commenced with the first pre-reconciliation meeting to be held in Kokopo, East New Britain in early November with churches to take the lead in discussions for this significant event. Uh, we are going ahead with the part of the national reconciliation which is going to take place from the 3rd to the 6th of uh, November in Kokopo. And so the churches uh, have given the task which they have uh, welcomed that responsibility. And so we will undertake that reconciliation in Kokopo early November. And then once that is completed, concluded, then we will await the voting on the 23rd of November. Whilst a specific date is yet to be agreed to for this national reconciliation, the Bougainville Affairs Minister is adamant for it to be held before talks commence for the negotiated outcome which will be brought to the national parliament for ratification. With the reconciliation to set the foundation for the negotiated outcome discussions between the national government and autonomous Bougainville government. The best timing will be that while people are preparing for uh, Christmas, New Year and the ABG elections, my projection is that is the time when we will have a national reconciliation program in Arawa where we will bring our two leaders, the Prime Minister and the President. The churches will continue to take the leadership and then that will basically be the end of the signal of this uh, national reconciliation and the pace is then set for the negotiated outcome which will then go to Parliament for final ratification.